You know all those games you get for free from Epic Game Stores? Wouldn't it be nice if you could play them on your Steam Deck? That's not hypothetical. Let's help you get all the freebies on deck as fast as possible, just like the other guides on the channel. Please be sure to pause if you need to, because we're going to go quick. First things first, here's what you need. An Epic Games account. Don't worry, we'll cover that in step one. Your Steam Deck. I'm starting to see a theme here. And that's it. One last thing before we get started. Some games just won't work even with this method. So games like Valorant simply won't work without installing Windows. But hopefully that changes in the future. Step 1. Create and sign into your Epic Games account. If you already have one set up, go ahead and skip to step 2. For everyone else, here's how to do it real fast. Go to epicgames.com in a browser on your deck, phone, or separate computer. In the top right corner, click Sign In. You can choose to sign in through various methods, including Google and Steam, or just make a separate Epic account. After that, you can collect a free game by scrolling down a bit until you see the heading Free Games. From there, click the bottom banner of the game that says Free Now, and then click Get on the next page. Then click Place Order. It should show up as $0. Now onto Step 2. Step 2. Make sure your Steam Deck is powered on and enter Desktop Mode. Do this by accessing the menu through the Steam button, or by holding the power button for about 3 seconds and selecting Desktop Mode. Once in desktop mode, open the Discover App Store. Do this by clicking the blue icon next to the Steam Deck icon at the bottom left of the desktop. Step 3. With Discover open, search for Heroic Games. Do this by typing in the search box on the left side. You can pull up the on-screen keyboard by pressing the Steam and X buttons together. If the on-screen keyboard is giving you trouble, just type in Hero. It should be one of the first options. When you see it in the list, click Install. Once it's finished installing, click the Launch button. Step 4. Now in Heroic Games, click the Login button on the left side. Then, log in with your credentials by clicking Sign In the same way you did in Step 1, or whenever you signed up for the account. After that, click Library. Step 5. You should now see your library on the right side of the app. If you don't, go back and log in again. Once you've selected a title you want to install, I'm going to use this one right here. Click Install. Step 6. Once installed, you'll have to select a Proton version for it to run. So click Wine Manager on the left side and select a version of Proton. I went with the newest GE Proton. Then go back to Library. The game you installed should be at the top. Hit Settings and then select the Proton version you just installed. In some cases, the version might not work with that specific game, so you might have to install a different version. Step 7. Almost there. You can press the play button if you'd like to test the game now. And it might install .NET Framework or some other drivers needed for it to run properly. After you've tested and closed the game, you can click the poster of the game again and hit Add to Steam. This will ensure the title shows up in the gaming mode side of Steam OS. Now you can either restart Steam or restart your entire deck. If you simply go back to gaming mode from here, you won't see the game until you restart the deck. Step 8. Once you've restarted Steam, you'll now see the game you just installed under non-Steam games when you click the library tab in gaming mode. If you also have ProtonDB installed, you'll be able to see the Linux compatibility just like a native Steam game. If you're not sure what that means, check out this Decky Loader plugins guide up here. And now, you're done. Thanks for watching. Take care, subscribe for more content like this, and hope to see you in the next one for more games, gadgets, and gear.